Evidence of a gun battle apparent in this neighborhood. Take a look at this car. You can see where a bullet went right through the front windshield and then again on the passenger side. It was like a real boom, 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 like loud. It, was, it just, but you, when you heard it, you kind of knew. It happens all the time. Sad, say, but it happens all the time. Shattered glass and apparent bullet holes on the side of houses, all left behind after what witnesses say was a shooting in College Park Thursday. You could tell it was like an automatic weapon because it was a lot of shots fired, like, you know, back to back to back to back. Stephanie McDave lives nearby. She said gunfire erupted just before six near townhomes and apartments on Godby Road. That's right off of Old National Highway. Witnesses described seeing two men shooting in the middle of the road. My neighbors, they were, you know, all standing outside and it was uh, one of my neighbor's stepson had got shot in the hand. Um, a lady got grazed by a bullet and the bullet was still in her pants and he was like, get down. Um, so I was on the ground probably like 15 minutes. This woman didn't want to be identified, but says she works near a construction site down the road. She claims her boss was also hit. You know, after he was hit, like, like he said that it felt like someone threw something at him. So he really didn't know that he was bleeding. Um, and that he had been hit until moments later, he felt the, you know, blood dripping down. And he's like, damn, I've been shot. Do this stuff and they don't know, you know, like three of my neighbor's house got hit. You know, one lady was saying that normally where she sits to watch her TV, it's a big hole in her couch. Her TV is destroyed. Despite multiple emails and calls, College Park Police have yet to comment on the incident. Those who live here say they deserve better. Just stay in your house, pray and duck when you hear the bullets and pray you don't get hit. And if you know any information, you're urged to contact College Park Police. In College Park, I'm Eric Perry, Fox 5 News.